Welcome to the world famous Guarantee RV Super Centers here in Junction City, Oregon. I'm the van guy. Here today in our detail shop. I had a fresh trade come in. I needed to get it out on the wire. We haven't had one of these traded in forever. 2003 Road Trek 200 popular. Popular? Why is it a popular? Because it's got a twin or king size bed. These just don't come in that often. Was uh, produced through 2004 when they did a body change. This is only 20 feet long and it's got all the nice features of a larger coach. I sold this brand, I sold this to the customer, lived out of state, came in and got an automobile. So the nice thing about this, as I mentioned outside, you've got this king size bed, twins, or you can make it up as a king. The king is pretty easy. You take these cushions out, this board folds over to fill this area in. The tabletop fits in here. All the cushions slide together and you've got a king bed. Or you can leave it as a twin. Uh, you can put a table up here or up front, which I'll show you when we get up there. Windows on both sides uh, open up for ventilation. Uh, thermostat for your temperature controls right in the bedroom area. Real easy to get to. You don't have to get up early in the morning and have it cold. Kick on the uh, heat and you're nice and toasty warm. This round thing here, that's where the spare tire is outside, which I will show you. You have storage on both sides of the air conditioner all the way back. And then over here, nice big deep shelf. And then if you release this, and this goes right here in this little notch. <laughs> I love it when a plane comes together. So this is a shower unit. The curtain hangs from the ceiling and you stand right here. Take your shower, I'll point out where the drain is. But you have a towel rack in here. You have a nice little storage area here in the back. Another nice storage down below. Plenty of room to use the toilet. And if you'll back up just a second, this door bifolds this way for privacy from the front. Now, as I mentioned, the drain in the floor is just down behind us, right down here. So if you're taking a shower, your curtain's going to extend, all the water will go in there. Yeah, I know, you're going to go take a shower in the park, so does everybody else. But if you need to, and you're a big guy like me, you can fit in here with plenty of room. Um, let's close this back up. This is an upgrade. <laughs> it, it is a flat screen TV, DVD player. It's got all the remotes that come with it. This does slide out and it does turn around so you can watch it from up front or of course in the bedroom. Kitchen, good storage in the kitchen. A little turn on the knob and just to let you know I'm on the level. Nice storage in here. Water pump's easy to get to. Got a lot of storage in here. As you can see, they've left a lot of items that they no longer wanted. Uh, good kitchen light. Nice window for good visibility. Solid surface countertop. This is stainless steel, and behind it, they've routed around it to help disperse the heat. Of course, you have a light and a fan here to help cool that area down. Lots of storage, and being a wide body, this one has a bigger refrigerator. Freezer, whoop, freezer up on top. Controls are here, easy to see and operate. Closet. So we have a clover leaf table because it comes with that. Because behind me is an armoire, so they took the third seat out and put that in place. So they made a little table, a round table to set up here between the driver's seats uh, for them to dine. We have another little storage area right here. They uh, left their sunshade for the front window. Now you'll notice that the curtains, they pull all the way around and meet in the middle 
so that whole area is all usable as living space uh, while you're parked and yet retaining your privacy. So if you peek in here, here's your control panel, monitor panel with all the tank capacities. Uh, I got the disconnect on, uh, ignition on your hot water, porch light. They installed a little mirror here for making sure you look pretty. You got a towel hanger space here and all these little holes are for shelves to be adjusted up and down. Original owner's packet. Drawers down below. This unit's got a little over 70,000 miles. I do have the Carfax on it. It's nice and clean. If that's uh, of interest, I do have that available. I'm going to turn off the battery. Disconnect. We'll go outside and See why this is a nice unit. I always back out, that way I never slip and fall. Nice clean unit, great shape, good paint, good tires. Uh, all of our units are safety inspected. Make sure the brakes work, the tires are up to date, they're not out of date, and they have good tread left. So this has got a go wing on both sides. And as you can see, the spare tire, uh, it's got some tire chains, and this goes all the way through across to the other side. Here in the back, behind door number one, is where your propane is. RV batteries here, easy to get to. If you want a hitch, we can put a frame mounted hitch on for you. Uh, it's a 350, 5.7 liter. It's going to be around 7,500 pounds towing capacity. Then for the air conditioner in the back. So this side here is where you hook up your water, your electric, your cable. It's all right here and it drops through this little door here when you remove it. Regular gasoline, hot water, direct spark ignition. Then for your refrigerator, the service entrance intake and exhaust in your furnace and this is where you have a large amount of storage in here that'll be all cleaned out detailed uh, out that's why it's over here and then your sewer dump dump handles are there sewer hose is already attached low point drain here for your fresh water real easy to get to Now I know you must have some questions and you're pretty excited to find something of this quality and a, and a low price point. If you got any questions, call the van guy. Uh, email's on here or you can call me direct at 541-554-9581. I appreciate your time.